Welcome to Roadfly TV, your latest automotive fix from Roadfly.com. Hi, I'm Stefan Utsch. I'm the project manager, sales and marketing of Porsche AG within the product line Panamera. Um, I'm happy to present to you now the all-new Porsche Panamera. Every engineer involved in this project was clear from the beginning that Panamera has to be a real Porsche. So this leads me to the first thing uh, of my presentation, the whole new car concept of the Panamera. The wheelbase, which is 2 meter 92 or 115 inch, offers a good opportunity to put like a roomy interior in it and also we have which is typically sporty, like short overhangs at the front and at the end of the car. It's lower than its competitors, it's lower and a little wider with 1 meter 93, which equals 76 inches. And really to understand the concept of the Panamera, you see here the yellow line is the cutaway of a 911, the red line is the cutaway of a Panamera, the seating position for the driver is identical. So that means sitting in the Panamera feels as if you were sitting in a 911 and this is also true for the steering wheel. Very sporty, typical Porsche. So this takes me, brings me to the second part of the technical highlight presentation. Uh, as I said, it's a broad variety of using opportunities between on the one hand very sporty driving and on the other hand very comfortable driving. So actually, and this charts would like to show this, is that you get three different cars with the Panamera. So the Panamera offers three different driving characteristics. And these six systems of the car change according to the wish of the driver. If he wants to go in the sports mode, which is standard on each Panamera, or wants to go in the sports plus mode, which is part of the iOption sports chrono package. So let me start with the um, adaptive air suspension. So, for example, if you go like normally in a comfort mode, this is actually the integrated air volume, and you have this big size, big, big amount of air. And if you push the sports button, there's a little valve in between that shuts off the upper part of the air volume. So you just have this lower air volume, and lower air volume, of course, means stiffer suspension. A second element that changes according to the driver wish, on the one hand very comfortable, or on the other hand very sporty, it's the Porsche the dynamic chassis control, which you probably know from the, nine, uh, from the Cayenne second generation. Another element, as you probably know, the Porsche stability management. Um, for example, if you push the sports button, uh, it allows you a little bit, a little wider drift angle, you know, having more fun uh, on icy roads, on a parking spot or something. And then we have this Porsche traction management. It's a, with the Panamera 4S and the Panamera Turbo. We have this hang-on four-wheel drive. This is totally flexible concerning the the performance concerning uh, if the strengths are going to the front axle or to the rear axle, the, the power ratio is flexible. Then, which is uh, also uh, new to this segment, the Porsche Doppelkupplungsgetriebe, as we like to say in German, so the double clutch system. So, and again, this system offers uh, this wide uh, variety of using opportunities. On the one hand, you have this comfort drive. If you just start slowly, um, you, the first and second gear is meshed, so you would not even recognize the change from the first to the second gear. On the other hand, and I hope the weather conditions allow today for you to experience it yourself, the Porsche Doppelkupplungsgetriebe offers this launch control function. So uh, you have to experience this better than I explain it, and uh, I just tell you a, a short figure. 0 to 60 miles per hour with the Panamera Turbo is just 3.8 seconds. And then again, also depending on the button, you know, sports or sports plus button, if you push it, the engine changes. So, for example, you can realize this by the direct response to, to the accelerator pedal if you push the sports button. So, to sum it up, very important to understand that actually according to the mood of the driver, the weather conditions, or maybe also if you are alone with the car or have your 
grandmother with you, you know, you can decide, is it rather a really comfort drive or do you want to go really sporty with the Panamera? So, as, you, as already was mentioned yesterday, you know, we have this uh, 19 miles per gallon, which is true, EPA rating, which, which is true for the Panamera S and 4S, and 18 miles per gallon, which is still good for the Panamera Turbo, and for no, no model, any gas guzzler, gas guzzler tax. And of course, you know, you know, reduced miles per gallon reduce the CO2 emissions. So uh, I think, um, um, well, I'm actually very happy that we were able to do best-in-class performance and also best-in-class fuel consumption or best-in-class miles per gallon, which is true for the Panamera. Thank you very much for your attention. I invite you, please, come to your local Porsche dealer and check it out, the new Panamera. Thank you very much. Roadfly.com, the Internet's best resource for buyers, sellers, and owners like you.